Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. On this video, I want to walk you through what exactly are you going to need to start your PlayStation VR 2 with PC. And of course, obviously, you're going to need a PlayStation uh, VR 2 PC adapter known as a PSVR 2 adapter for PC. And it's $60. Uh, you can purchase it from directly uh, Sony. I think there's some other stores that might have it. Um, so you're going to need that, that hardware to connect it to your computer. All right, so let's get on with this, and then I'll tell you my thoughts on it. I'll tell you my opinions on it. I have already seen other people use it. I've seen people unbox it, set it up. So I'll give you my thoughts on that later on. So first thing first, you're going to need a, uh, of course, a PlayStation VR 2. They just recently uh, dropped the price, $200 off. Now you can purchase it for 350 but you have to keep in mind it's 350 plus $60 for a uh, PC adapter. So you're looking at $400. So you're going to need $400 to get both uh, PlayStation VR 2 and this PC adapter. It would be nice if Sony was selling it like in some kind of a bundle. Maybe they'll do that throughout the holiday season, I don't know. So what do you need to access your PC through uh, PlayStation VR 2? Well, first of all, your PC needs to have certain requirements. Windows 10, Windows 11. So you got to make sure that you have Windows 10 and Windows 11, okay, on your PC. Processor, Intel Core i5-7600 or AMD Ryzen 3 3100. RAM, it's about 8 gigs or more. Graphics card is very important. GTX 1650 or later or uh, NVIDIA RTX series. Uh, or AMD Radeon 55 XT or 65 XT. So the specs are pretty good. Uh, most of the gaming laptops today should be able to handle this. Um, you're also going to need a DisplayPort 1.4. Okay. Uh, and what does this mean? This means that um, you can't just plug it in through HDMI. You will need DisplayPort 1.4 and USB 3.0. Most of these graphics cards, they have that. Unless you got a laptop, it's a little bit different. So on the laptop, you might need the adapter. So, but on, on, a, on a gaming PC, most of them come in with a DisplayPort. Most of the GPUs, uh, 2070, 2080, you know, I think 2070 has a display port, and so does 2080, and then 3060, 3070, they all have a display port. Okay, so, <clears throat> you will also need a, a Bluetooth 4.0 or later. Why do you need a Bluetooth? Uh, it's beyond me. I guess you're going to need a Bluetooth for, for the headphones, because you won't be able to use the, the audio through through the headset so you're gonna need a but that's okay I have I have my uh, turtle beach whatever I'm fine but not everyone has a Bluetooth see see there, there's too many requirements already on top of you paying you know sixty dollars for this adapter you know but we'll we'll get to that later on so you also must have a dedicated mini display port or a standard display port, output port. Display port, USB type C, it's not compatible with your PlayStation VR 2 PC adapter. Make sure to use the latest graphics card drivers. Okay. Uh, for the best performance, they recommend 3060 or AMD Radeon 6600 XT. You must connect the display port cable directly to the display port. On your PC, you must connect your PlayStation VR 2 PC adapter directly to a USB port on your PC. <sighs> I 
Can I be just honest? Can I be just honest? Why, Sonny, do you have to do this? For something that should be as easy as you connecting your USB-C to the USB 3.0, like, I don't know, like Facebook MetaQuest, right? MetaQuest, as simple as that. Why do we have to go through all these hoops, man? For something that should be as simple as you plugging it into the USB 3.0 and that's it. And let your GPU and CPU hardware take care of the rest. Ugh. And of course you're going to need, which, which I already have mentioned, you're going to need a, a PlayStation VR 2 PC adapter. You're going to need a display port, 1.4 cable, also sold uh, separately. It doesn't even come with a display port cable. And I already talked about this. They couldn't even include a display port cable, man, on top of everything else. So what apps are required to use a PlayStation VR 2 and a PC? You're going to need a Steam, of course, to download the Steam app. Uh, and then Steam VR, which I already have. And then... PlayStation VR 2 app. Download this app free from the Steam store. So you got to go to Steam and download this app. And then you got to go through the process of signing up, you know, uh, registering your account, your, your Sony PlayStation account with Steam. And then you have to link your Sony registration PlayStation account to the Steam. And then you're good to go. All right. I got to be honest. Uh, I have to be honest with you guys. <sighs> All of this is totally unnecessary. For something that should be as easy as... Me connecting it directly to my computer, man, with a, with a USB-C to USB 3.0 cable uh, input. I don't understand this, man. They could have easily allow you to use a USB 3.0 adapter, plug it into the USB-C to USB-C mini, and then plug it into your uh, USB 3.0. And these adapters, you know, like these USB 3.0 to USB-C adapters, are dirt cheap. You can get them anywhere. Uh, they could have done this plug and play. That's what I'm trying to say. Instead of having you jump through all these hoops, spending $60, and then buying the, uh, the display port, display port cable. It's not like everybody has a display port cable laying around. And on top of display port cable, now you have to make sure, does your laptop has a display port? And if it doesn't, you got to buy an adapter for that too. And then... Uh, you have to make sure does your GPU uh, is you know it's it's powerful enough to handle this, uh, and then you have to make sure that you have a Bluetooth. I guess you'll be using a Bluetooth headphones instead of simply plugging in a a, 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 a headphone jack, right? Old-fashioned headphone jack. And just plug in the headphone jack and just listen like that. I, I listen. I have PlayStation VR 2, but man, I gotta be honest. It just seems like too much of a hassle you have to jump through here for something that should be as simple as plug and play. I talked about MetaQuest. Listen, I got my MetaQuest in December of last year, 2023, and I've been playing it. Ever since I've got it, you know, I got hooked on to uh, Horizon World and I had a blast. I had a blast using Horizon World. Met so many cool people on Horizon World. I love it. Been on there for four months. Um, and on top of that, MetaQuest, everything that, that Quest 3 does, it's a million times better. First of all, you don't need a computer to use it. It's a standalone device. Uh, number two, uh, you just plug in to your PC and you're good to go. Uh, very easy to plug into your PC and use 
whatever uh, VR apps you want to use, super easy. Uh, everything about MetaQuest 3, it's a million times better. So here's my question. My question is this. Since I have both of them, why? Uh, I'm just I'm just asking this question. Why should I bother going through all these jumps and hoops to connect my PlayStation VR two to a PC when I already have this? And this even has a higher resolution. This thing has a higher resolution, okay? And it's and it's more comfortable, more portable. So my question is this, why should I bother with a PlayStation VR 2 connecting it to a PC when I already have something that's super easy to connect, super easy to use and has giga trillions of experiences. You can even play Xbox. Yes. You can play Xbox games on this thing. Yes. You can play the entire Xbox Game Pass library. On top of all of the other features that I have mentioned that this thing has, including Horizon World and many other big screen VR, VR chat. I mean, Jesus Christ, the list goes on and on and on. Not to mention that the Batman, Batman Arkham VR game is coming this October. Listen. I, 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 no, why? People say, but it would be good for YouTube content. Yeah, I guess. I, I, that would be the only reason. Honestly, for me to plug it into my iBuy Power PC, you know, that would be the only reason that I would do it. The only reason I would do it. If, if it wasn't for YouTube, I don't think I, 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 I would even bother with this. I will eventually get this whenever I get my chance to get it. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll do the test for you guys. I'll do a bunch of videos on it. I'll, I'll show you. I might even do some live streams on it. Uh, because it's good for the YouTube content. Uh, but honestly, if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would have never bothered. Because I already have something that's more sophisticated, more better, a million times better than what the PlayStation VR 2 is. So I don't know what the angle is for Sony, what they're doing. Uh, listen, this whole PlayStation VR 2 thing was, uh, was, was confusing and weird from the beginning, man. With a price point, $600, you know, with, with, uh, with the lack of games and, and it, it, the whole, the whole thing with PlayStation VR 2 felt like, like some kind of like bipolar device that's some kind of schizophrenic bipolar device it doesn't like what i'm trying to say it like it doesn't know what it wants to do it's conflicted it's the most conflicted device especially when you compare it to the original playstation vr and how good the original playstation vr i still love my original playstation vr i love it i love it love it love it love it i still use it and you look at this this PlayStation VR 2, it's such a conflicting, bipolar, schizophrenic, excuse my language, device. Like, it, it's so conflicted, it doesn't know what it wants to be. And I, I don't know, now Sony's trying to save it. It's trying to do everything it can to save it, so I don't know, man. Like I said, am I going to get the adapter? Am I going to try it? Probably, whenever I get my hands on it. But I would really love to get... Uh, PlayStation Portal, man. That's something I really wanted to get. Uh, it's something... I, I might get it for Christmas. We'll see. Keep my fingers crossed. But uh, for this, it's only 60 bucks. I could... I have... Listen, because I already have DisplayPort. I got a bunch of DisplayPort cables. I got a bunch of PCs. I got a bunch of GPUs that have DisplayPorts. So I'm all good. My 3070 will handle it. No problem. Um... And my gaming laptop will handle it, no problem. So for me, 60 bucks, fine. Fine. Um, most likely I'll get it and I'll test it because it will be good for the content, 
for the for the, for the video for the YouTube content creation, you know. So anyway, listen, I'm gonna say is this: if you already have Meta Quest Three, and you guys know how awesome Meta Quest Three is, okay, I don't need to go into all the details as to why Meta Quest Three is awesome. Uh, if you have it, you know why it's awesome. So if you already have Meta Quest Three, dude. There's absolutely, absolutely no reason for you to, to drop $400 on this thing. $350 for the headset and then $60 for the, uh, the adapter. There's absolutely no reason whatsoever, dude, for you to drop $400 on this thing. Now, if you don't have a MetaQuest 3, and you only have a PlayStation 5 and PlayStation VR 2 and a decent PC that can run this? Okay, for you, yes. I can see some benefits playing Half-Life Alex and some other Steam VR games. For you, yes. For you, yes. But for those of you who already have MetaQuest 3, man, come on, man. It's just a waste of money. You might as well get a, a, an extra place. You could get two PlayStation portals. You know, one for you, one for your partner, one for you, one for your brother, one for your sister, one for your cousin, whatever. One for your mother, for your father, okay? So all I'm just simply saying is, um, if you already have PlayStation VR 2 and PlayStation 5, and you don't have any other VR device other than that, but you got a decent PC that can handle it, sure. 60 bucks, that's not the end of the world. 60 bucks, go ahead, try it. But if you already have uh, a Meta Quest 3, absolutely no reason for you to be uh, wasting time and, and wasting 400 bucks on this, you know. Okay, so there you have it. That's that's my thought on this. Uh, I don't know what else you want me to say. I mean, I think I uh, made myself very clear. So, uh, you guys let me know what do you think leave the comments down below let me know what are your thoughts what do you think uh about this whole thing uh, you know is this yay nay uh, is conflicting device or is sony trying to save this is it too late to save it i don't know where's the backward compatibility for the playstation vr1 games where's the co uh, compatibility for playstation vr1 original games where's the compatibility for that we're still waiting for compatibility to be able to use PlayStation VR 1 2016, PlayStation VR 1 original games with a PlayStation 5 and PlayStation VR 2. W where's the, that backward compatibility, man? There's so many features that, that the PlayStation VR 2 is missing, which, which is just so ridiculous. When you compare it to the original 2016 PlayStation VR... All right, there you have it. Uh, I'm sorry this video is long, but there was so much I have to cover here. So uh, let me know down below what do you think? What do you all think? What do you all think? I would like to hear it. Don't be so quiet. Well, you can type on it, you know. Tell me what you think. Yay, nay, forget about it, move on, whatever. Leave a comment down below.